Hello all, welcome back to the English class. As we have already mentioned, today we are going to begin with a new chapter titled Deep Water written by William Douglas. Let us begin. In the first part of the story, the author begins by saying how he started fearing water since the age of four. So it all started when he visited California with his father. A wave knocked him down and he was completely terrified during the occasion. From then on, he develops a fear of water. The next incident mentioned by the author in this chapter is when the author is 11 years old. So he experiences another incident which escalates his fear. That was when the author or William Douglas decides to learn swimming. And he joins YMCA pool in Yakima. YMCA refers to the Young Men's Christian Association. So he joins YMCA pool. He was quite comfortable with the pool because it was only 2 to 3 feet deep in the shallow end. But it had 9 feet depth towards the other end. However, Douglas was okay with the 2 to 3 feet depth and hence he was ready to learn swimming. He bought water wings and swimming costume and he was ready to learn swimming. And it was during this time that a misadventure happened in his life. So one fine day when Douglas was sitting on the side of the pool, a boy, a big boy, he, he decides to pull a prank on Douglas. So he pushes him in the deep end of the pool which is almost 9 feet depth. So Douglas, he landed in a sitting position. He swallowed water and went at once to the bottom of the pool. So let us see what happens. Douglas is trying to escape from the water. But since he was a very young boy, the 9 feet distance seemed to be 90 feet for him. Douglas touched the bottom of the pool and he thought that his lungs would burst any time. So he gathered all his power to jump up and move upward like a cork. So just remember this comparison. He always tried to move up and float to the surface of the water so that he can escape from the pool. But he can only see water around him because he was not able to come to the surface of the water. He was frightened. And he could not catch hold of anything other than water. So he was so desperate and he was desperately trying to escape and he is trying to catch hold of something. He tries to shout and repeatedly moves his hands and legs but he was not able to catch hold of anything. Neither did he find any sort of help from anywhere around. So he was not able to come out of the pool. He was waiting there shouting repeatedly. And he was not able to do anything. He was completely helpless and he was moving his hands and legs for help. Eventually, he started feeling pain in his head and lungs. Though he tries his level best to move upwards, it does not make any difference. So all throughout, he is always trying to execute this strategy of jumping upwards because that's the only thing that can that he can do to move upwards. So he was jumping upwards continuously taking all his power to move up like a cork to reach the surface of the water. But every time he tries to move upwards, it becomes in vain. Now, Douglas, the 11 year old boy is now under water struggling to save himself from the pool. Let us see what happens to him in the next module. Thank you.